Locals in the Cagayan province of the Philippines were recovering after Typhoon Inching battered the northern Philippines with floods and landslides before blowing away from the country on Friday. The typhoon left two airports damaged and aggravated a calamity caused by back-to-back -back storms hitting in recent weeks. There were no immediate reports of casualties from Inching, the 13th major storm to hit the disaster-prone Southeast Asian archipelago this year. The typhoon, locally called Mars, was last tracked over the South China Sea about 100 kilometers west of the northern Philippine province of Ilocos Norte with sustained winds of up to 150 kilometers per hour and gusts of up to 205 kilometers per hour, according to government forecasters. It is expected to weaken further before hitting Vietnam. The typhoon flooded villages, toppled trees and electricity poles, and damaged houses and buildings in Cagayan province, where Inching made landfall Thursday afternoon, provincial officials said. More than 40,000 villagers were evacuated to safer ground in the province. The new damage will complicate recovery efforts from two powerful storms that lashed the northern region in recent weeks. Tropical Storm Trami and Typhoon Kongray left at least 151 people dead in the Philippines and affected nearly 9 million others, mostly in the northern and central provinces. More than 14 billion pesos in rice, corn and other crops and infrastructure were damaged. In the hardest-hit province of Batangas, south of Manila, at least 61 people died in floods and landslides. More than 630,000 people were still displaced due to Trami and Kongray as of Thursday, officials said, including 172,000 who remained in emergency shelters as Inching blew across the country's mountainous north. President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. decided not to attend the Asia-Pacific Economic Cooperation Summit in Peru next week to focus on recovery efforts, Communication Secretary Cesar Chavez said. Hurricane Rafael made landfall in Cuba on Wednesday as a powerful Category 3 hurricane, shortly after powerful winds knocked out the country's power grid. Forecasters warned the could bring life-threatening storm surges, winds and flash floods to western swaths of the island. By mid-afternoon on Wednesday the Union Electrica announced the collapse of electricity in the whole country. The second total blackout in one month. School and public transportation have been suspended as civil defense issued an alert. In Havana's capital, the streets were deserted and being battered by strong wind and rain. It is another blow for Cuba, which is facing the aftermath of another hurricane that passed through two weeks ago and left at least eight dead in the eastern part of the island. Thousands of people were evacuated between Tuesday and Wednesday in western provinces for residing in low-lying or dangerous areas. Public transportation and classes and many work activities were suspended in the capital, Havana, and several provinces. Crews collected garbage and other obstructive materials from the Malacan and several low-lying areas, as floods were forecasted. At the same time, roofs, windows, boats, and any property that could be affected were secured. Throughout the day heavy downpours began to fall and the wind whipped trees. The authorities also cancelled flights in the main air terminals, such as Havana and Veradero. Hurricane Rafael arrived in Cuba under complex circumstances. It brought significant rainfall to the east last week, 
particularly in Guantanamo, where the previous cyclone, Oscar, made landfall on October 20. Oscar left eight people dead and affected more than 150,000 people, destroying roads, bridges, and houses. It also damaged coffee crops, which are among the most important in the region. Thank you. 